What's up everyone? So we got another laser video for you today and I was actually doing some painting on some blocks. Yep, we're working. My wife's over there, Sarah, <laughs> shipping away. And I'm painting and it dawned on me. I gotta make a video and someone was asking about painting on things. So let's start off by, my name's Matt. My wife's name is Sarah. We do laser engraving full time, running out of our basement. We have now for three years, full time with no other jobs, and we love it. We also have another channel called Matt and Sarah. Go check it out if you want. All right, so the question is I get, I've gotten a couple of times, do I paint or do I not paint before I engrave? Well, let me tell you, I got plenty of blocks painted, sitting on the shelf, waiting to be used. I have wood. I got one painted in there ready. And what I like to do is I paint it before I engrave. Now if you're going to cut, that leaves it a little iffy. Then you got to use a lot of tape and so forth, which is doable. You can easily do it. The reason why I like to paint is because, I got to be careful, this one's wet. I literally just got done. I should probably run this underwater so it doesn't harden. I'll clean that after we're done with this. So, I like to paint before I engrave because it is easy to clean. So, when I say clean is I use this rag. Get a little damp corner and just wipe it lightly. All the smoke marks come right off. They're very easy. The paint I like to use is PPG. Exterior paint and and or interior. I find it doesn't really matter if exterior or interior. Um, the PPG I found out of all the paint is by far the best for me and the colors that we've been using. You might find a you know, different paint is better for you, types of wood and type of engraving you do. The other thing, you can always tape things off with masking tape. I'll leave a link to this down below too. I have used that all the time. I have a bigger one here that I use for the sheets of wood, like so. It is very easy to get that done. Um, sometimes when you paint the sheets of wood, you can't get the, the tape to stick. Then I'll use like a painter's tape, the blue painter's tape. Voila. So, other than that, that's basically it. It's super easy. You can now, you can, like, let's say, let me see. Let's say I'd engrave this. Now I want to come back and paint it. Well, what you could do is, let's say you wanted to just get the S a certain color. You could come and paint this, let's say, purple, the S purple here. What you could do is you could paint this and then come back and engrave this off and it'll take the paint out of the stuff that you missed when you hit the edges. Just saying, done that before for a customer. It does work. And I hope all of you guys are doing well out there and just crushing the business and doing great. Now, like my cutting boards, I make those and I bring them down and I oil all of them and I stack them up high and I just oil them and stack them. Now I like to have those oiled before I engrave them because if you don't then you got to go in the garage and you got to go and sand them all down again and it just I don't like the look of it because I want the depth of the engraving also. Now by putting the oil on first it has the oil sucked into the wood so when you go and engrave there is like no smoke and if there is a little bit of smoke, it's easily comes off with a rag and you can re-oil it and you won't even know it's there and it's less sanding and you still got your depth in the engraving. That's why I choose to do that. And the other thing with the engraving on the cutting boards, you wanna make sure, like I go back and I oil where I engrave so that part of the wood soaks in more of that oil. Just to give it a little bit more of a glossy look and it looks, in my eyes it looks better. But then you gotta dry it with a towel and let it sit. And it's best to sit for 24 hours, at least 12 hours before shift, so you're not getting it 
smearing it all over the place. Now when I cut stuff, like on this wood, I always tape it if I don't want the smoke marks. Now if you are cutting something and you're going to have the smoke marks, but when you're done cutting it, you're going to assemble it and then paint it, you don't have to tape it. Don't waste your time. Because taping, you're also going to have to weed off the tape. You're going to have little parts, little tiny pieces that you're going to have to get those off. And it's just time consuming. Very time consuming. So I would steer clear of that unless you had to do it on most things. But if you're cutting and you want a wood look, you have to tape it. No, there's no way around it really. So I hope that helps. If it does, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more. Again. My name's Matt, my wife's name's Sarah, and we do this full time. We just want to help people out because we didn't have this kind of stuff when we started out. And I know there's a bunch of videos out there about um, other kinds of lasers, but we use CO2 lasers and we do this as a business, not a hobby. So if you guys want, check out my other channel, Matt and Sarah, and glad you got to see me again. <laughs> Bye.